This ball's hit well, the right center field and deep. Going back is Mullins. This one is gone. A home run for Neil Walker. And the Yankees lead five to four. Infield is up three and two to Voigt. Pitch. Swung on and drilled to deep right center. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. Another two-run home run by Luke Voigt. Luke here. Voigt is adroit. He hits his second two-run home run of the game. And the Yankees now take a 7-4 lead. Uh, what a night for this kid. Deep left field. Brantley is on the run. O'Hearn ties it in the ninth inning. He took full advantage of that strong wind. We've been telling you about it all night. It's 20 miles an hour straight out of the south blowing toward dead left field. That's their fifth hit, the first run since the first inning. Boy, poor Cody Allen. What has happened? Ten home runs allowed by Cody Allen, and we've got a new ball game. And now Dozier. That's deep to right center field. Allen is back. It is off the wall. Gone. Walk off. Who didn't see that coming? Fans here, they can't believe it either. Unbelievable. And in a season of misery, finally some joy in Kansas City. And Cody Allen, boy, it didn't take him long to give up the lead and then the win. Dozier out of nowhere, back to back, opposite field. That was special. Lyles ready to run, carries the winning run. Arcia in the right field, beats it. Polanco drops it. Here comes Lyles, throw to the plate, and the Brewers win! Are you kidding? Nice! Woo! A three-run 15th inning! Orlando Arcia! A walk-off single! Seven to six, Milwaukee! And a single to win it, Orlando Arcia. What a nice swing he put on that baseball. The only question is Jordan Lyles going to be able to score. Outfield very shallow. Here he comes. You knew Ed Cena was going to send him. And the throw off the mark. Ball game. Brewers win. And Arcia takes it well. The Gatorade bath. And Altuve drives one deep to left field. The man they call Tube on Players Weekend hits a home run his 10th of the year. And the Astros on the board first, one nothing. Tried to get that fastball down and in, but he just threw the barrel at it and just unloaded it 417 feet away. Javier Bracamonte trying to catch it with his hat. Oh, my. And the hat ended up in the Angels' side of the bullpen. Ball hit well to the left center field, all the way back. Trout looking up. This ball's gone. Margo with a slam, and the Astros score four to lead it five to nothing. Marwin with the big swing tonight. He's had a bunch of them this month, but that one driving in four. Astros out big. And Carlos drills one deep to left center field, going all the way back, looking up. That ball's gone. Carlos Correa. I am Groot with his 14th home run of the season. David Bodie, the batter, finishing. Deep drive. Yeah. We're going to finish. It's over. Cubs win. Cubs win. David Bodie again. Kid has a knack. They get a habit of this. Unbelievable, this kid. Three to the final in 10 innings. He loves the big moment. Well, I mentioned it. Every homer he's hit since his first one has been a dramatic home run. Swings away, drives it a long way. Deep right center field. Got some carry. Bounces off the fence. D. Gordon, stutter step. Now he's caught in between. Can he get back safely? He does. Wow. That was exciting. <laughs> that was exciting. So first pitch fastball. Don't worry about the bunt. He's just going to barrel up a heater that's belt high. Hits it off the fence. Thought about going to third. A strong arm from Souza in right field. He puts on the brakes. 
Hustles back in the second. Susan played it very nicely off the wall. He did the stutter step. Well, there. He, he wasn't going to go for it, but then he saw the throw was going to be over the cutoff, man, and he wasn't sure if it was going to be on line. Once he saw it was online is when he went back. Nazara in his third year, but he's only 23 years old. And the ball is back out of play. Both Posey and Longoria gave chase on that one. Well, Rodriguez, you got to make a play. That was right there <laughs> on the Hall of Famer. Everybody okay? You think they're having fun down on that road tonight? I right, just take a look. Well, if you you know, Gold Glovers, they're good with gloves. Bare handers, I don't know. Yeah, they're having fun. <laughs> he saw what went over there and couldn't help but slip a smile. Well, you don't see him show a whole lot of expression out there, but sometimes when your old man almost catches a foul ball, then you're, it's your game. I mean, that, that'll make you smile. 2-2. Two -two. And this a long drive center field. Base hit, Matt Holliday. Welcome home, Big Daddy. He had goosebumps. Just think about what Matt Holliday had to go through this season to get back to where he is today. He spent the entire offseason as a free agent. Went back to Grand Junction, was a minor leaguer at Albuquerque. Still has a sweet swing, still has a lot to give. You've seen guys like this. Beautiful hit and run. Grossman took off. The shortstop covered the bag, and Maurer hit a weak ground ball right where he was standing. First and third, two down, and that'll bring a force up. And that will do it. That's, that's, that's the one that passes Rodney. Take the ball out, and Joe Maurer now is second all time. In Twins history and getting base hits. Pass Rod Carew. And if he does, at least some of his hope continues to play for a couple of years, he'll pass Kirby Bucket. Diaz, 48 saves. Second place, Craig Kimball. Wow. Able to maintain. Right to Cano. Taking himself two outs. Two balls and two strikes to count. Eddie trying to wrap it up right here. Bottom of the ninth inning. Two outs and nobody on. 6 3 Mariners. And the 2 2 on the way. Slider. Swing and a miss for strike three. Sugar with a save. How sweet it is. Number 49 on the year. Club record 49th save. Surpassing the Fernando Rodney. 48 and 2014. Makes a winner out of the Rasmus.